Today is the first alert weather day as we continue to track a strong cold front to our west. Out ahead of the front, it has been mild and breezy, but we've also been dealing with rounds of rain, some of which have been quite heavy. There have definitely been some good downpours across the area today. As we take a closer look out to our Agawam Sky Cam, of course, it's overcast. Temperatures cooler than yesterday, but still well above normal for this time of year. Currently sitting at 54. Looking at the radar right now, we've got some scattered showers, which mostly look light. But once you look at the radar and you start seeing those brighter shades of yellows, oranges especially, that's some very healthy rainfall. Now, we've got a lot of moisture in the atmosphere with this system. It's mild, the dew points are higher, so it's, you know, giving way to some downpours out there, and that could cause reduced visibility and ponding on roads. So if you are out traveling through the rest of this evening, just keep that in mind, maybe budget some extra time. Here's our cold front back off across western New York. You can see some snow coming in behind it to Buffalo, so certainly a big temperature drop coming our way. As we take a look at your 24, shower chances continue this evening. Cold front gets here between about 7 and 9 p.m. So this model showing it coming into the valley by about 8 p.m. or crossing the hill towns at about 8 p.m. This is some downpours, certainly, maybe a rumble of thunder. Then temperatures are going to drop once that cold front passes through. Might fall pretty dramatically, especially in the Berkshires, and snow could come down heavy there too. So they're going to see some accumulation. In the valley, snow should be a little bit more short-lived. Temperatures may take a little bit longer to drop, but it's going to be cold with a little bit of snow. It just doesn't last long and doubtful we'll see much for accumulation. We'll have everything start gradually clearing out overnight. It stays windy. It gets much colder. We'll be in the 20s by morning and we'll have the chance for some patchy clouds throughout the day. Maybe even a few flurries and snow showers coming down out of the west. So a very cold day shaping up for tomorrow. High temperatures barely make it above freezing in the afternoon. Now when we talk about strong to damaging wind, the damaging wind gusts, almost like a severe thunderstorm, uh, would be 60 miles an hour. The best chance for that's going to be across the Berkshires, but possibly even into the, onto the eastern slopes, those higher elevations in western Franklin, Hampshire, and Hamden counties. Once the line moves east, it shouldn't be quite as intense. We may still get some good gusts in the valley, but it's unlikely we would get those 60 mile an hour gusts here. Snowfall forecasts looking like a coating to as much as two or three inches in the highest elevations. Might see a few coatings in the valley, but again, I don't think we're going to get much from it. It's just going to take too long for temperatures to drop. Now, wind speed will start to increase as the cold front comes in. Wind will be out of the south southwest, gusting as high as 30 to 40 miles an hour ahead of the front. Once the front passes through and wind shifts west northwest, that's when we get our biggest gusts. That's the peak. So we're talking gusts of 50 to 60 miles an hour in the hill towns and wind gusts in the valley could potentially get to 30 and 40 miles an hour. The lower end hills out here in eastern Franklin, Hampshire and Hamden could see some 40 plus mile an hour gusts too. Wind will get a little bit lighter by sunrise Thursday, but overall it's still a very breezy day tomorrow with wind gusts still getting up over 30 miles an hour until we hit the evening. Then wind goes light to calm for tomorrow night and much quieter weather will be back for Friday. So we have a lot of mild air out ahead of this cold front as you can see off to our west, but here comes the drop in. This is actually uh, wind chill. So this is, oh, there we go. Here comes our wind chill dropping down into the teens by midnight. So we're almost to 60 before the front gets here. Wind chills are going to be in the teens a couple of hours after it passes. Wind chills will stay in the teens pretty much all day on Thursday too. So make sure that you have the winter stuff ready to go. Friday is going to be a cold, dry, quiet start in the morning. Then we're back to the upper 40s with good sunshine. You're going to want to hang on to Friday sun because it doesn't come back for a while. Shower Saturday, breaks of sun possible Sunday with highs near 60. It's mild again for next week, but still dealing with unsettled weather.